Hello, I'm Jerry Schmidt from Parabola LLC, and today I'd like to talk to you about reticle alignment. When mounting a telescopic sight to a firearm, one of the most annoying problems we've all encountered is trying to get your reticle positioned so that it's either perfectly level or perfectly plumb. This has been a problem for all of us for decades, and it might well be said that a good reticle alignment tool is a holy grail of tools that we've all been searching for. Recently, I designed a tool for this very job. However, in designing this tool, I had two criteria in mind. First, that this tool would function without the use of a bubble level. And second, this tool would function without the need for a distant external reference object. Why design a tool with these criteria in mind? Well, first of all, small inexpensive bubble levels are often inaccurate due to the short length of their base. Secondly, they can be easily damaged. And thirdly, they are oftentimes nudged off of level while you're working on the gun in its vise. Distant external reference points such as a horizontal roof line, the top of a fence, or horizontal lines created by siding, or vertical distant reference points such as the corner of a building, or a pole can oftentimes be difficult to use because you must first verify whether or not they're level or plumb and this can be a hindrance. More importantly, it can be somewhat inconvenient to have to sight your firearm outside through a window or across a large room or down a long hallway. These are not only inconvenient in themselves, but they're further compounded by the difficulty that if you're sighting out of a window in a settled area, it may alarm your neighbors. My solution to this dilemma was to create a device that would function without the need of a bubble level or without the need for a distant external reference. In short, the device would be able to stand alone. It would function independent of any of these resources, but would utilize only the firearm and scope combination itself to achieve the goal. How can one meet these criteria? I'd like to introduce to you the Reticle True alignment device. The Reticle True is CNC machined out of solid Delrin stock. The device itself has a vertical slot or a window to sight the vertical cross wire in. On the back, it has a V shaped ledge to accommodate most any diameter of ocular bell, while at the same time, it will automatically center or index that ocular bell on the ledge. Going back to the front, the device has a top and a bottom pointer, and these pointers are indexed and aligned upon chosen reference points located on the central axis of your firearm. Because this device functions independent of either a bubble level or a distant external reference, it can be used in a small room devoid of windows or it can be used out in the field where man-made objects containing either vertical or horizontal references fail to exist. In addition to this, because the tool is basically a machine monoblock of very tough Delrin material, it is very rugged and can easily and safely fit into either a range bag or a backpack without any worry of any delicate parts breaking. How does one use the reticle true alignment device? The first thing you've got to do is take a rubber band and stretch it around the rear of the device so the rubber band is nicely fit into the groove machined for it. Then you will take the device, I'm going to just set it on the back shelf of my gun vise here, take your scope and put your scope in between the rubber band and the V-shaped ledge and I like to line mine up so that the elevation turret is approximately in line with the top pointer of the device. So we'll end up with something about like that and we're ready for the next step. The next step is what we have to do is sight through the vertical slot on the reticle tube. So point your scope towards a soft diffuse light source and look through the vertical window until you've aligned the vertical cross wire in the center of that window. Now you can fine tune adjust this by moving your eye laterally either left or right until you get the cross wire just against either the left or right hand edge of the window. Now that you have the reticle true aligned with the crosshair inside, what you want to do is set it in 
to your preset rings on your rifle and you want to set it in there so you have it approximately plumb with the orientation to the rifle and so that you have the fore and aft position of the scope set so that you have the correct eye relief and that's something you'll probably want to determine before you affix the reticle true to the scope. The next step is you want to get directly behind the rear of the gun and sight both top and bottom pointers of the reticle true. Very carefully, without disturbing the position of the reticle true on the scope, rotate the scope in the rings, either clockwise or counterclockwise as necessary, until the bottom pointer is centered directly on the tang, if it's a rifle, that it's centered on the receiver if it's a shotgun, or that it would be centered either on the frame or the back strap if it's a handgun, while simultaneously centering the top pointer on either the elevation turret, the center of the front objective bell of the scope, on the center of the barrel itself if the barrel is long enough to be visible, or the front sight if the front sight is visible. When you've assured yourself that both top and bottom pointers are lined up on your chosen reference points, your reticle is sitting perfectly plumb. Before I put the ring caps on, I want to have you take a close-up view of how the bottom pointer is centered on the tang and the top pointer is centered either on the elevation turret, the front objective bell, the barrel, or the front sight, whatever you've chosen. When everything is lined up perfectly, you want to proceed with installing the ring caps onto the bottom of the ring halves, and we want to tighten the screws to the specifications recommended by that specific manufacturer. Now that the screws are properly tightened, we're ready to remove the reticle true alignment device and the job is finished. That concludes this presentation. Once again, I'm Jerry Schmidt from Parabola LLC and you've been watching a segment on the reticle true alignment device. Thank you for watching.